Hi, you sexy whiskers, and welcome back into Kingdom Come Deliverance. So it's safe to say it's been a while since we've had any information on a possible Kingdom Come Deliverance sequel. But as you guys know, I'm always looking for tiny tidbits of information that we can look at and go, hey, that could be something. And yesterday, something pretty big did happen. Now, I want to give a massive shout out to Gegs and Donella, because without you guys, I would not have been able to do this. So yesterday, Daniel Vavra, aka the guy behind Kingdom Come Deliverance and Mafia, posted this with the professor New Year's Eve at Perchstein. And also this one, back at the scene of the crime, also at Perchstein. Now, if you don't know, Perchstein is in Retai. It's the bottom castle. And yeah, it's still standing. You can go and visit it today. But what we're interested in, in this photo, is the fact that he is with the professor. Now, not only is this professor wearing a Jan Ziska t-shirt, which is going to come into play in a second, but also this person is Petre Cornej. I hope I pronounced that right. <laughs> if I did, I'm very sorry. They are a history specialist in the late Middle Ages, particularly the Hussite Wars. Right, there's a lot to unpack here, and I'm warning you now, it's going to get sporadic and very messy, so I need you to help me in the comments piece all this together. So, here we go. So there are going to be spoilers for the end of the game in this video because we need to look at the end of the game and what's coming because personally with Geg's help and Danella's help we've kind of come to the idea that maybe this is all leading to a trilogy like the game was set to have when it was first announced. <laughs> Stick with me when we go through these okay? So at the end of Kingdom Come Deliverance, Henry and Hans Capon are tasked with going to Trotsky Castle. So, looking at Trotsky Castle, Trotsky Castle is a veteran of the Hussite Wars and the Thirty Years' War. Trotsky was a virtually unassailable stronghold in its day as an active fortress. At the end of the game, Henry and Hans are heading to Trotsky Castle with a letter to ask about their allegiances. Obviously, Henry doesn't want them siding with Sigismund, so we know that is where the next game is going to start. They are going to be going to Trotsky, and there's going to be some conflict that's going to happen there, I'm assuming. Now, we know that Kingdom Come Deliverance takes place in 1403. There are two years where major events happen after this. 1409 at Kutnahora, which is Kuttenberg, which we'll get to in a second, and 1419. 1419 is the year when the Hussite Wars begin. And the Hussite Wars last until 14. 34. Now, this was all spurred on by Jan Hus's death in 1415. Little update. So, I posted the Instagram photos on Twitter, and Armored Hedto commented and said, Hey, that's Jan Ziska and Jan Hus on the stake. And I didn't really know what they meant because I couldn't see Jan Hus. But if you zoom in, you can see Jan Hus on the stake behind them, and here is a medieval painting of that exact same scenario. They're wearing that long hat, uh, so it's quite easy to notice. They also mentioned that the art style used here looks very similar to the Kingdom Come Deliverance comic series that's currently out. The one problem with that is that comic book series is a prequel to Kingdom Come Deliverance, so why are they referencing something that's happening in 1415. So yeah, I don't know what this means, but basically having the fact that we have Jan Hus and Jan Ziska on this t-shirt is pretty cool, and that is going to lead into the rest of this video, and we'll discuss who Jan Hus is, and we'll look at Jan Ziska as well. So I'm wondering if we're going to have Kingdom Come 2 take place over the span of a few years. They get to Trotsky, and then start working with Jan Hus. Now, there is no mention of Jan Hus at Trotsky, but in 1409, he is at Kutnohora, which we also have information on, and we have confirmed sightings of Warhorse Studios at Kutnohora. So let's get to that. So the events of Kingdom Come Deliverance uh, take place uh, around Ratai and all the towns around there. This is actually 
uh, to the bottom right underneath Prague. Kodahor is only about a six hour walk from Ratai, which would be doable in a day. Um, and if we were to instead go from Ratai to Trotsky, which is where uh, Hans Capon and Henry are heading, uh, that would take about 20 hours. Um, so that would be a two day trip, uh, I'm assuming. Uh, which is interesting. So we'd be heading past Kutnohora to get to Trotsky. So I don't know if we're going to see Kutnohora in the start of Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, or if we're going to just walk past it, or if it's going to be an instant, oh, we're at Trotsky right at the start of the game. I don't know if there's going to be a section of the game where we're walking and then we can decide whether to go there or not. I don't know. That's obviously yet to come. I, I can't guarantee that. I don't know. Uh, but in terms of distance, all of this is pretty easy to get to um, in terms of time to get there on foot. So back in July of 2021, War Horse Studios were seen at... Kutnahora. They were seen taking photos and researching the area, which is a pretty big sign they're doing something there. And Kutnahora is a very big part of the story because this is where Wenceslas summoned representatives of the four nations comprising the University of the Czech city of Kutnahora to demand statements of allegiance. And this included Jan Hus. Jan Hus is actually mentioned by Teresa in Kingdom Come Deliverance as well as a few other characters. Um, he is trying to uh, reform the church and is the inspiration of the Hussites. Uh, Jan Hus. We'll get in there. Hang on. So here we have Petre with a Jan Ziska t shirt at Perchstein with Daniel Vavra, who is a researcher on the Hussite Wars. So all of this is tying together. I'm like one of those people who has a whiteboard with a load of, like, <laughs> string that's all being strung up. This all basically leads to the fact that the next game is going to be the build-up to the Hussite Wars, and then, and then the third game is going to be the Hussite Wars themselves. If that's not the case, then I'm assuming they're going to try and make it so they can do a time jump to the Hussite Wars. But I honestly believe that the Hussite Wars are going to be in one of the upcoming Kingdom Come games. Oh, this is so, so confusing. It's so confusing. So many people called Yan. Why not pick a different name? I... <laughs> Now, recently, there was a film made about Jan Ziska, um, and Daniel Vavra and a lot of the team from Kingdom Come Deliverance were seen talking about this. They were, um, I think Daniel Vavra even took part in the movie. I would say that they were gaining information and also giving information between that movie and the work they're doing on the next Kingdom Come game. And of course, the death of Jan Hus in 1415 mobilized this movement, which led to the Hussites. So, there's just so much, <laughs> there's so much here, uh, and it's all people that have been mentioned, or at least referenced in Kingdom Come Deliverance. We have now this historical uh, researcher who is uh, a key part in that era, who, who, who is researching that era with Daniel Vavra. There is so much here. So I think what Geg's said to me in DMs is right. I think what we're going to see is a trilogy. Um, they're going to be announcing Kingdom Come 2 this year. I'm pretty damn sure that's going to be the case. Um, and then we'll hopefully find out what's going to be happening. Because of course, if they try and fit not only the 1409 stuff, but the 1419 stuff into Kingdom Come 2, it's going to be a mess. I think personally they should have it so... Uh, we have the build-up to the Hussites in uh, Kingdom Come 2, and then 1419 uh, in Kingdom Come 3. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get there in the end, you know, after about 15 years. But I think that's the plan, because originally Kingdom Come was supposed to be a trilogy, not just one game. And I, it's never just been one game. I've told you this from the very beginning. They're going to do a sequel. They are. There's no way that they're going to have done Kingdom Come 1 and then be like, okay, thanks guys, bye. We're going to start making something else now. That's not going to happen. Kingdom Come 2 is their next game. So Kurt Horror is confirmed because we've seen them there. And that all ties back 
to Jan Hus, as well as Trotsky Castle, and even Hans K. Pon. That's very important. I'm thinking that's going to be integral to the plot of whatever the third game is. Uh, so yeah, that's something. Now, we could be pulling at straws. This picture was taken, I'm guessing, on New Year's Eve of last year. But the fact we have him wearing a Jan Ziska t-shirt with Daniel Vavra, and Daniel Vavra has just posted this on Instagram yesterday, and he is a researcher in this era, would lead me to believe there is something going on here. Now, for researching at this point, I don't think that's viable. I think they've already done all the research they need for the next game. All of this stuff with Jan Hus, Jan Ziska, uh, Trotsky, Kutunahara, so many things are all tying together for the Hussites. And I think from day one, I was hearing people talking about the Hussites. I'm not massive on history, especially Czech history. I don't know much about it. But from playing the game and from talking to different people, I've kind of been able to piece some things together and work all this stuff out. And it's it's been fascinating, honestly. But because history is not my strong suit at all. So I want you guys to look at the information I've given you today and try and piece some stuff together for yourselves. Try and work out what this could possibly mean. So my final thoughts on this. Kingdom Come 1, Henry and Hans leave to go to Trotsky. They are probably going to meet Jan Hus, who we have already talked about before, and they're going to be talking with him about allegiances, and that is going to then lead them to probably meet Jan Ziska, head to Kutnohora, and then will lead to the third game, which will be the Hussites, and there will be some allegiances that will be torn, and that's all I'm going to say what do you guys think this video is going to be hell to edit um <laughs> i've just kind of splurged all of this information at you uh but it does piece together quite a few things we've talked about the cut and horror thing uh, we knew about that is confirmed that now uh there's just so much information here that you can't really concise into one easy sentence um and that's difficult so yeah comment down below tell me what you guys think uh, I will be back soon, hopefully, with the upcoming game reveals at the Summer Game Show. There's a few different game shows happening over next month, uh, and I'm assuming we're going to be getting an announcement for Kingdom Come 2. So please, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, leave a like. Comment down below. Tell me your thoughts on this. Do your own research, because it's really fascinating to do. And I know this video's been messy. I get that. But this is how my brain works, and <laughs> I just want to piece all this stuff together. We need to build this jigsaw puzzle together. But until next time, that's me, out. Bye, guys.